Welcome to the spoken tutorial on servlet methods. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a simple login form using JSP. Pass parameters using doGet method. Pass parameters using doPost method. Difference between doGet and doPost methods. Here we are using Ubuntu version 12.04. NetBeans ID 7.3, JDK 1.7, Firefox Web Browser 21.0. You can use any web browser of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you must know Core Java using NetBeans ID, HTML, Basics of Java Servlets and JSPs. If not, for relevant tutorials, Please visit our website. We will begin by creating our web application, the library management system. First, we will create the home page. The home page will contain a simple login form. It will allow authenticated users to log in to the library management system. Now let us switch to NetBeans IDE. Let us go to the index.jsp page that we had already modified earlier. I have modified this page to create our home page. We keep the title as home page. Inside the body, we have table with border equal to 1. You can have a look at the code here. Inside the table, we have included a heading, Welcome to the Library Management System. Next, we have a paragraph tag that includes this is the home page for library management system. Then we have a hyperlink which links to a page called visitorhomepage.jsp. We will create this page later. Next, we have a very simple login form. This form allows a registered user to log in. Before creating the form, you will have to create a servlet named Greeting Servlet. So pause the tutorial here and create a new servlet as explained in the earlier tutorial. Note that the servlet name is Greeting Servlet and the URL pattern should be Greeting Servlet Path. This form has two input elements, username and password. It also has a submit button that says sign in. Next we have a paragraph tag that includes a link to addusr.jsp. This is the registration page for those users who have not yet registered. Now let us go to our greeting servlet.java. Note that greeting servlet.java is created in the same package org. Spoken Tutorial. Now, this servlet will be able to access the form data from the request object. This servlet will act as a controller. Do you recall that we had come across controller earlier? Now we will see what the servlet does as a controller. The form data will reside in the request object. The first task is to retrieve the form data parameters. This is done using the getParameter method on the request object. So, let us switch to NetBeans ID. Type inside the doGet method, print writer, space, out, equal to, response.getWriter. Next, we will retrieve the form data parameters. For that, on the next line, type, String space username equal to request dot get parameter within brackets and double quotes username and semicolon. Note that this username is the name we have included in the form tag for username. Similarly, we will retrieve the password also. So on the next line type string space Password equal to request dot get parameter within brackets and double quotes password 
semicolon. Next, we will print the username in the output. So, on the next line, type out.println within brackets and double quotes hello from get method plus username. Now, to run this project, right click on my first project, click on clean and build, again right click on my first project, click on run. So the server is up and running. It has deployed my first project. We have got our home page displayed in the browser. Observe that the title of the page is home page. We can see a very simple login form here. Let me enter the username and password. I will type Arya as the username and Arya star 123 as the password. Then click on sign in. We can see that we have got the output hello from get method Arya. Now the user was able to log in here because we have not included any validation inside the code. We will do this in the later tutorial. Now have a look at the URL here. It is localhost colon eighty eighty slash my first project slash greeting servlet part question mark username equal to Arya and Password equal to aria star 123. Now the form data is separated from the page information by a question mark. We can see that the username and password that we had entered in the form is inside the URL also. Now let us try to do the same using post method. So switch back to the IDE, copy the code. We had written for do get method and paste in the do post method. Now change the println statement to hello from post method. Now let us open index.jsp. Here we must change the method attribute of the form tag to post. You can have a look at this code now. We have form action equal to greeting servlet path method equal to post. Now we will run this project again. So right click on my first project and click on run. We have got the output similar to the one we got when you used the get method. So let us type username and password again. Then click on sign in. Note that we have got hello from post method aria. Now take a look at the URL. It is localhost colon 8080 slash my first project slash greeting servlet path. Here we do not see the form data in the URL of the request. This is the major difference between do get and do post methods. Now let us learn when to use get and when to use post methods. Get method is used when the form is small and hence the data is less. The user wants the content of the data to be visible in the URL. Post method is used when the form is large and hence the data is more. The user does not want the contents of the data to be visible in the URL. Example, passwords. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to create a simple login form using JSP, pass parameters using doGet method, pass parameters using doPost method, difference between doGet and doPost methods. Please make sure that you have completed this tutorial before proceeding further. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. 
Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict-intro. The library management system has been contributed by a leading software MNC through their corporate social responsibility program. They have also validated the content for the spoken tutorial. This is Arya Ratish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.